Hi everyone, this is going to be the reading for Aquarius for February 2021. What are the messages for Aquarius? A couple of cards here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Knight of Cups. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. What are the energies for Aquarius? We've got the Nine of Cups. Excellent energy to have. What other energies for Aquarius? We have the King of Swords. What are the energies for Aquarius for February 2021? I'm getting the King of, King of Cups in reverse. What other energies for Aquarius for February 2021? What does Aquarius need to know for February 2021? Um, hanged Man in reverse. What else for Aquarius for February 2021? Uh, Eight of Cups in reverse. What else for Aquarius for February 2021? Uh, this, this can apply for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Be sure to check out the other signs in case this doesn't resonate with you. I'm getting the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get started. So Aquarius, you are very in a in a very good space right now in the month of February. The Nine of Pentacles is about self-sufficiency self-reliance depending on yourself for your happiness for your self-worth for your money whatever it is you know being your own parent being your own guardian angel whatever you call it but this is very um self-contained self-fulfilled energy and the nine of cups also speaks of that energy so you're in a very good space right now Aquarius where you are finding joy in the everyday you're finding joy in what you have you're really operating in the space of gratitude is what i'm sensing um, gratitude for everything that you have going on in your life and that's a really good space to be in uh, to attract better things into your life uh, because when we start appreciating what we already have in life that's when we resonate with the vibration of abundance and that's when more abundance comes into your life a lot of you are focused on the money focused on building new skill sets uh, just doing the daily grind and the hard work that's needed to accumulate your finances, accu accumulate your wealth. Eight is also the number of transformations. So a lot of you Aquarius, you've undergone a fundamental transformation in your outlook towards life. Because I do see the hanged man in reverse, which is indicative of um, a complete change of perspective. Like just as the picture shows, you've literally had to hang yourself upside down to be able to see something from a different perspective a different light now in the past i see the eight of cups energy in reverse so in the past you may have been very risk averse uh you were trying to play it safe especially you know a lot of people think aquarius is eccentric and you know rebellious and because it's ruled by uranus right but they forget that aquarius is a fixed sign at the end of the day so once you've made up your mind about something, you're not going to change it that easily. And fixed air is a paradox because air is supposed to flow, logically speaking. So Aquarius, a lot of the times you are misunderstood by people. And in the past, you may have been very averse to taking risks. Uh, you wanted to stick to, you know, the, um, your, the cups, whatever you have going on in your life. You wanted to stick to your comfort zone whatever good things are going on you didn't want to leave your safe space basically because there was the fear of the unknown there was a fear of failure as well like what if i climb this mountain and nothing comes to me right like i'm, I'm leaving all this prosperity and abundance behind and what if i don't get anything from that mountain up there right like that's the kind of energy and um it's it's logical like if you think about it yeah why would you why would you take that risk but then that has been to your detriment a lot because Aquarius, you are ruled by Uranus and Uranus is kind of the planet of change because it disrupts everything in a good way. Like um, it's this change that comes out of nowhere and we don't anticipate it, but at the end of it, it's all, it's all good. And that's the ruling planet of your sign, Uranus. So for you to stay in your comfort zone is actually very bad for your growth and that applies for any sign pretty much but especially for you Aquarius uh, it's very detrimental to your growth 
if you don't step out of your comfort zone and i think that especially now with all these planets in, in your sign in aquarius and the mercury retrograde happening in aquarius it's really opening up your eyes the hangman in in reverse it's changing your perspective on a lot of things it's changing your perspective on what comfort zone looks like to you what stepping outside of your comfort zone looks like to you and also the fact that what's out there doesn't have to be so bad uh, you know it may be even better than what you've got going on right now so that taking that leap of faith is really important for you um i see you operating in this uh, king of swords energy which is you aquarius this is you in your true highest potential um king of swords energy is very balanced you know yes you do you are great at communication you are an air sign you love communication you believe a lot of things can be resolved through communication which is how it should be but at the same time you also respect differences aquarius you are about being rebellious so and so when people around you are different or quirky or you know they have their own difference of opinion you're going to respect that like you're really operating in your power right now aquarius um, you're standing your ground there's a butterfly here you know above uh, above his throne so the butterfly is again about transformation this is very much about you undergoing a massive transformation aquarius over the past couple of months uh, this has really required you to step outside of your comfort zone look beyond what's presented to you and really start operating in that uranian energy that anything is possible especially now with this whole bunch of planets that we've got going on in aquarius it's a real eye eye opener for you during the month of february uh the page of pentacles in reverse now pen pentacles i mean pages are about communication and pentacles usually have to do with the earth signs uh but in this context it's speaking to some kind of communication coming in when it comes to your finances or building your finances and that sort of thing but i feel like you're not really entertaining it because again i feel like you want to stay safe a little bit uh in the sense that you want to stick to what's tried and tested when it comes to your finances you're building on your skills you're building on what it takes to multiply your money um i do see the knight of cups so this could be a pisces energy coming into your life um in terms of a new relationship in the past i do see the king of cups so this could have been a scorpio in your life um or person with strong scorpio influence they could have been a scorpio sun moon rising venus or north node and this person i just want to know a little bit about this past relationship for aquarius i don't like dwelling on past energies but i just want some clarifications on this past relationship for aquarius can you tell me more about this king of cups in reverse yeah so i'm getting the four of cups as well so this person is somebody in the past and they are still trying to reach out to you but i feel like you don't really want to entertain any communication from them uh let's look at the nine knight of cups let's see what this person is about the spices three of swords in reverse okay so this person the spices person who is probably in your life or who's going to be in your life very soon they may be a pisces sun moon venus uh rising or north node this person is going to heal your wounds whatever happened in the past relationship uh that scorpio nick energy this person may have hurt your feelings a lot they may have broken your heart but the spicy person is here to soothe your wounds i'm seeing the justice card as well so this could be even a libra person coming into your life you know and i'm seeing the hermit somebody with virgo as well but this could just be you operating in your hermit energy right now you're doing a lot of introspection a lot of self reflection you're seeing what needs to be done to step outside of your comfort zone what you need to do to multiply your your finances um can you tell me more about this um past person why is the four of cups here why is the four of cups here for the king of cups okay um i'm getting the chariot and i'm getting the emperor in reverse now this person in the past they could have been a scorpio they could have been an aries or they could have been a cancer any one of these energies but this person um 
let me just try and get some clarification on why this person is in the past why didn't it work out with Aquarius what was the reason I'm being nosy now I want to know what happened uh, why didn't it work out with Aquarius what was the reason let's see okay um, I'm getting the Hierophant now this person in the past they could have been almost too stable for you and let me just explain what i mean by that this person could have either been a taurus because obviously that the hierophant is the taurus card but essentially this person whoever it was they had um too much of a fixed energy which kind of uh, cramped your style aquarius which kind of stifled your creativity because maybe that's one of the reasons why you were in that eight of cups reverse moment where you're don't where you didn't want to take risks you know so this person may have put a lot of fear in you saying that don't try this don't try that what if this happens like a lot of fear based and scarcity minded thinking which made you doubt yourself um which made you feel like you don't want to take the leap of faith and it kind of put you in a box and you hate being in a box Aquarius but this new person Pisces who's coming into your life it's a mutable sign um and Pisces is a very go with the flow kind of energy so they're going to really fuel that side of you which wants to take risks which wants to do something unknown something eccentric something you know out of this out of the box that's you that's your energy so this person is going to soothe your wounds. They're going to help you step outside of your comfort zone. And it's going to be, I'm sensing it's going to be a good relationship. So yeah, that's the reading for you Aquarius for February 2021. If you like this reading, please like, share, subscribe, put a comment in the comment box. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. And both the links are in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.